Buonasera, and good evening everybody, Mammon Plan here, and welcome everybody to a new game for the channel that I am incredibly excited about. I had no idea that this was available for Xbox One. I am really, really pumped to introduce you guys to Soma on the Xbox One. Absolutely amazing game, incredibly deep storyline, and balls to the walls scary. I really hope you guys are going to like this. We actually did a little live stream of it last night. And uh, it went down really well. A lot of people were impressed with it. Nobody knew this game was around, so hopefully you guys are really going to enjoy this too. And welcome to the webcam. The face cam is now up and running as well. I've been using this on streams. First time I've been trying to use it on a YouTube recording. So I do apologize if the color or the uh, resolution is a little bit out. But I'll do my very best in editing to hopefully make sure this works. But I wanted to let you guys see me jump out of my skin and crap my pants every time something scares me. So this should be really good. Really, really excited about this. If you guys are looking forward to it as well, or you do enjoy it, hit the like button for me. And if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button as well. So let's get into it. All right, Soma. Ooh, now I do have a continue because I have played a little bit of this on stream, but um, we're going to start with brand new game. Uh, game mode normal. Monsters are dangerous and can kill you. You will need to think and sneak to survive the way the game was designed from the start. And then safe. Monsters are still creepy, but can't kill you. You don't need to worry about stealth as you play. No. No. Where's the point in... It won't be scary if we're like, yeah, it's fine, we're not even going to die. So let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Starting a new game will overwrite your latest save. Continue. Yes. Reality is that which, when you stop believing in it, doesn't go away. That's nice, I like that. Are you that. okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that that's for later, for the scan. It's green. That looks Ashley, red. I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Lynch? Why is there never enough time? Tell me about it. Story of my life. For what, Ashley? For making videos and doing <sighs> work. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Hint objects can be interacted with using the right trigger. Alright, pick up the phone. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you alright? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, see you in a couple of hours, then. Okay, see you soon. Okay, so we're Simon Jarrett. That's uh, that's an interesting one for us to know. Uh, move around with the left stick. Yeah, we got that down. That's not a problem. Looking around, moving around, all those things. Now, what I really, really, really like about this game is we can pick up pretty much everything. And we can, like, throw it around. Where did I put the tracer fluid? <laughs> Where did I put that tracer fluid? Uh, we've also got things like we can open up drawers and check out stuff that's going on by holding the right trigger and moving the right stick to open stuff up and move it around. Oh, hello, what's this? Hooked. Robin McConnell. Ooh. So again, we can rotate stuff about and we can actually read text if we can't make it out by holding down the right trigger. Mark and Diana Miller have finally caught a break. They've managed to save up enough money to take the family on that vacation to Hawaii they've always been talking about for so long. But as the sun sets over Waikiki Beach that first day, Mark and Diana's paradise turns into a nightmare, as swimmers are caught in thousands of thin strings stretching from somewhere below the waves. Slowly, swimmers are pulled, screaming into the dark water, desperate to find out to get out of harm's way. Their seven-year-old son, Charlie, is caught by the vicious tendrils. Ooh. Ah, so we're a bit of a horror reader. That's pretty cool. Ooh, shut that up. 
can turn off lights. That's Come pretty cool. On, radioactive tracer fluid. Where are you? We've got some seriously noisy neighbors over here as well. That definitely appears to be a thing. Um, so let's have a little bit of a look around here. Oh, we had a message, didn't we? Yeah, here we go. Hey, Simon. It's Jesse. Are you working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, Mr. Mean It. Yes, yes, yes. Messages. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. Yeah, uh, so do I. Don't judge him. To remind him, didn't I? I don't know. Did you? Did we send an email? Let's check. Okay, what's this? So, from David Munchie, the Neurograph session. Thank you for again for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the Pace Laboratories in Toronto, but since we are guests, our access is a bit unpredictable. I will try to schedule the scan session for Saturday. I'll get back to you when confirmed. Sincerely, David Munchie. Okay, so this is going to be the doctor dude who's going to be helping us out. Uh, let's have a look at the other one, Doctor Eden Peak. A new prescription. I'm happy to hear your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months. At least you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. Since excessive stress could be fatal, I have written you a prescription for Prazosin? Prazosin? No idea what that is. To help you with your nightmares, please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest and I will see you next week. Okay, so, by the sounds of it, um, it looks like we were actually in a car crash, I'm judging by that little intro clip that we had, um, and we have suffered some brain damage, which is pretty, pretty brutal. Um, uh, this was date 28th of April 2015, and it's the 2nd of May right now, so yeah, we should be due to go there pretty time soon. Uh-oh, drafts. To Jesse the Grimoire, Saturday off. Yeah. Oh, I we, forgot to hit send. <laughs> we didn't send it. Since you probably forgot, here's me reminding you I've got a doctor's appointment tomorrow, i.e. I'm not coming into work. This means you'll have to make sure you're actually on time to open up the store, and please unpack the boxes behind the counter. They are starting to become a workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sell much better if they're actually put on the shelves where people can actually see them. Good luck, you'll need it, Simon. <laughs> so let, let's send that anyway. Are you sure you want to send? Yes. Better late than never. Ah, well, what are you going to do? Simon Jarrett at email.net. Original. I like it. Saturday, 2nd May 2015. So the game actually appears that it has been out for a while. I have seen a Let's Play of it on PC, and I loved it, so I'm really excited to play it myself. Uh, we've got a couple of things we're going to have a little look around with, kind of take our time with it, explore the world and uh, all of its fruitions. Get well soon. Love, Mom. Aww. Ah, oh, well that's nice. So what else we got knocking around here? Oh, hello, shiny. Shiny is good. Downtown accident kills young woman. Ooh. Downtown accident kills a young woman. Friday, April 10th, 2015. Toronto. Yesterday a driver distracted by her children ran a red light, causing her to blindside a car in the intersection of Bloor Street and Spadina Road. The mother and her child uh, and her children, traveling in a robust SUV, were left bruised but largely unharmed. The other party was less lucky. As the car crashed into the passenger side, Ashley Hall, 23, sustained devastating damage and suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs before the ambulance arrived. Oh, that would have been the person who was next to us in that little clip. Her friend and driver, Simon Jarrett, 26, that's us, so now we know we're 26 years old, survived, but with complicated results believed to leave him with permanent brain damage. The sufferer of the SUV, whose name has not been released by police, claims it was an accident partially unavoidable. Maybe tell your kids to be quiet when you're driving in a car and not run red lights. What is this? Similar variety, summer blockbusters, all sorts of stunts, massive recoil. Alright, oh, we can open the windows. Ah. Summer's coming. Hope it's a good one. Yay! Hello, birds. Grimoire. That wasn't that the name of that Jesse dude. Oh dear, knocking stuff over. What's this? Simon Jarrett. Pace Laboratories. Doctor Eden Peak. NMRI contrast tracer fluid. That's what we got to find. That's what we got to find. Is that? Those are the guys I work with, maybe? Oh, and this is just a pretty picture of a beach. 
Okay, fair enough. All right, beautiful, beautiful. So let's continue having a look at our tracer fluid. I didn't find it in there. Is there stuff on the floor, little balls of paper? Fair enough. Um, doesn't appear to be here. No, anything hiding in these? Oh, a little bonsai tree has died. Oh, no. Poor little bonsai tree. Uh, okay, uh, 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 uh. Let's close that one. Did I put it in my sock drawer, maybe? I doubt it. Radioactive liquid that I have to drink, I would say fridge. I mean, look. Oh man, it's such a mess. There's loads of stuff around. <laughs> it's like not like my apartment at all. Not in the slightest. Okay, maybe it's in the fridge. Nothing but fast food. I should buy something healthier on my way home. Could be a good idea. Although pizza, microwave pizzas, microwave meals. Is that the paste? <laughs> the paste. <laughs> all right. Not in there then. Um, uh, kitchen and cutlery drawers would be in our cupboard. No, no sign of it here. No. Oh. I put it in the oven. Okay, the oven's locked. I I thought it was in the kitchen somewhere. Or at least I thought it was. We got some keys. Pick up our keys. We got some mail. So it is Toronto and Canada. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, let's turn the lights on. Maybe that'll help. Ah. Oh, there we are. Maybe that'll help us locate this tracer fluid. Where are you, you wascally, wascally tracer fluid? You can rob those objects using... Okay, I can also do that with my stick, couldn't I? No? Well, how is that a hint? How is that going to help me? Uh, uh, uh. Where on earth? Oh wait, maybe the bathroom. I do really much like how you can interact with things, how you've got to hold it and move stuff out of the way and stuff like that. It's really, really good. Aha! There it is. Tracer fluid. All right. Uh. Gaydutan 755 for NMRI and other nuclear contrasting scans. Uh, yeah, looks good. It's almost sounds like Gatorade. Down the hatch. Yummy. Feels like milk, but the taste is like sucking on a penny. Ooh, lovely, lovely. That's probably because there is a lot of metals and nickel inside of it, and uh, that will get into our bloodstream, and that will help them take pictures of our brain. So we've made a super huge mess of the house, even more so than it was before. Um, yeah, we've got our keys. Uh, yeah, we're just going to go. Let's go. And um, we're on the train, staring at a pretty girl. That's not creepy at all. Uh, yeah, don't worry. Yeah, you're fine. Coffee! I need some coffee. That's a good idea. Going to Osgood. There's Osgood Station. Okay, random dude next to us here. Is that a phone again? Jesse the Grimoire. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after the scan. Don't sweat it. Okay. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear me. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, you know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, Aww. good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. <laughs> Dying Lovely. thing? You're the worst support <laughs> ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. That was oh, great, the whole bye. dying thing. <laughs> Love you, Mr. Minute. Bye bye. Stinking awful lie. Guys, a bit nuts. Hello? Um, Dr. Munchie? 
Dr. Munchi. Um, guy's been doing a bit of redecorating. You painted the skirting board, dude. You're supposed to use masking tape Where for is that. Where everyone? I thought this place would be busy. Uh, hmm. Let's turn the light on. Okay. Oh, that's a fantastic painting to put in a... To put it in the doctor's office. That's a great idea. Um, hmm. Oh, my stock. Ooh. Uh, okay. Seems legit, right? It's, um... There's definitely nobody here. Ooh, computer snooping! Ooh, snooping. Uh, scan now. From David Munchie. Paul, where are you? We've got a few hours. I got hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you already here? Call me as soon as possible. Okay. From David Munchie, get your stuff ready. 27th of April. Hi, Paul. Talk to Pace about getting access to the lab this week. I have managed to book a scanner, uh, the scanner, pardon me, for tomorrow uh, morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. It would allow us to use their computers to run the models, and also, if a time slot opens up, we can get in there and use the scanner rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow, we could do a scan of each other to learn the equipment, and it's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Erin Peake will send somebody over. She has a patient that was recently in a car crash. Should be interesting. Um... We could do a scan of each other to learn the equipment. It should be pretty easy. So they, have they not done this before? To David Munchie, we're locked out. I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code change, so I pulled security. Uh, talked to Professor Wei and, gave, and have him vouch for our project. Finally got a hold of some honcho over at Pace's legal department that could regrant us permission to the lab. Not allowed to repeat the code in mails or text, but I'll leave a note or something in case we forget. So, yeah, not feeling with a bunch of confidence about these guys at all. Um, I'm assuming, though, because of the damage that has been done to our brain, we're starting to look for alternative um, and variations, perhaps, other ways. Let's turn the computer off. <laughs> other ways that it, something may be able to help us heal, perhaps. So now we're looking for a code. Um, page 56. Deck, tweak, right for length. Loads of those random numbers. Improved, visualized. Projector technique. Oh, wait, 2501? 2501, is that it? What else is in here? Snooping, yo. Ooh, a USB. What is this? Trial and error. <laughs> Put your scalpel away, the brain can heal itself. The brain has amazing transformative quality and a plasticity that allows it to compensate and even heal itself. Explains Paul Berg, graduate student in the neuroscience at York University. Uh, the quality of Berg and his colleague David Munchie, a student of s computing science, we're hoping to encourage is about getting the brain to do the right thing and hope to accomplish this with a simple thing like exercise therapy and light medication. Okay. Brain is scanned to produce a computer model. Numerous tests conducted on the model without risk. Performed treatment is then applied for a patient. Alright. Okay, so yeah, we're totally fine. USB? Oh, I can't pick it up. I can just move it. Anything else? Staplers and things, stacks of papers, okay. Alright, so. Uh, 2501? My memory. My memory, guys, so bad. 2501. Nailed it. A bit of a creepy noise there, didn't like that. Hold the left trigger while moving to run. Aha, beautiful. It's got some first aid things, such like that. I don't know where I'm going, that's locked. This one's open. Uh, this one has explosive things inside. That means explosive. I can't get in there. That's a shame. Uh, hello? Okay. Is there a light? Aha! Uh, okay. Needles and orange juice. It's probably not the best way to get your vitamin C. Got some drawers here, actually. Is there anything interesting in here? No, more USBs and other things. Uh, looks like somebody's been doing a little bit of maintenance around here. I used to love taking put stuff apart and figuring out how to put it back together. Great fun there. And um, we've got some things running on the computer here. 
That yeah, looks pretty epic. Oh wait, what is this? Oh, just pictures. Pictures of brains and geometries and and things. Okay, fair enough. Hmm. So nobody in here to talk to. Shut the door. It must be her. Aha! Hello! Somebody's actually here. Oh hi! Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. It was awful. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. Uh, okay. So... What are some exactly curiosities are we doing? here? We're going to do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study. This will actually help me. Well, I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> yeah, huge waste of time. That sounds very scripted, though. You know, though. I have a serious condition, right? You heard about the car crash, the X months to live deal? Yes, Ooh, I heard. Months. Must be hard having to hear that. As you know, it's because your brain is weakened so much that it can start to bleed every so often. And if it ever gets real bad, it will kill me. Well, we probably can't restore your brain completely, but we should be able to make those X months turn into years, decades even. If you take care of yourself and don't do anything too crazy, we should be able to get you to outlive the best of us. Okay. Uh, again, it's worth a shot, really, isn't it? Not like any other doctors can do. I really hope you're right about this. Me too. This could make a huge difference for how we treat people with brain damage. So, what do you say? Should we get going? Sure. Let's get started. Take a seat. All right. Let's do this. Um... Not really anything of super huge importance to be having a look at around here, as far as I'm aware. We kind of found out what we need to... Okay. Buckle up, let's go. Let's go. I'm super pumped. I'm ready for it. Whoa, whoa. Big helmet. Ooh. All right. Let me just get this out of the way. I can see out of it. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Toronto, Canada. David Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph. Version 6. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. Is that so? Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. Okay, cheese. Oh. That's quite the camera you got there, Doc. What happened? Okay. Mr. Munchie? Did something go wrong? This isn't funny. No, not really. Uh, can we get up? We can get up. I, I'm not supposed to put myself in... This is kind of stressing me out. Yeah, this is super dark. Um, this is really bad for us. Ooh. Hey! Anyone? I, I like the voice acting. It, I would be kind of freaking out around about now too. Um, so this doesn't appear to be the same place where we were before. Uh, it is very dark. Let me just check the options here. Uh, I believe I have already upped some gamma. Uh, I'll try to brighten it a little bit into the editing, uh, but not by too much because the darkness is part of this game. It really adds to the atmosphere. So um, yeah, all of that is just fine. Uh, okay, so yeah, incredibly, incredibly dark around here. 
How do we... Ah, red light. Is this going to have something to do with something? Aha! I am... Oh, God, that's bright. What the hell is this place? How did I get here? This is definitely not the same office that we were in before. What were these suits? Can I can I wear them? Should I wear them? I have no idea. Uh, I'm assuming not. Electrical hazard. Service console. Omni tool chip installer. Build, shape, and optimize your Omni tool with fully customized tools and assistance. Okay, uh, and a toolbox. <laughs> Insert Omni tool to access. So we need to find one of those. What is all of this noise? Ooh, freaking Borger here. What is this? And a lot of blood trailing. Okay. Uh, automated unlock terminal from service console. Okay. Um. All right. So can't be getting out of there too easy. That already looks a little bit broken up. I'm pretty sure that I could smash my way through it. Nope. How do, can I throw things? Ah, left bumper. The left bumper will allow me to throw things. I don't know if we wanted to do this. Um. Okay, it almost worked. There we go. Alright. Let's check out what's around. Proceed to jump. Yeah, we got that one. Okay, that's locked. Very, very locked. Um, there's a weird thing on the door. Pneumatic seal. So whatever happened, somebody sealed this door. Aha! Get you out of the way. Okay, cool. Right, so we've sussed that out. We can get back in here now. So we need to find one of those tools, I'm pretty sure, is what we need to be getting onto. Um, there's another seal over there. There's an open door here. Data buffer available. Oh, it's working better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can, rather than take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock out the comp center. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll get you the data safe and sound. We just need to make sure we're leaving our power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. How did I do that? I have no idea. Was it not just a play button? It surely didn't sound like a play button or feel like a play button, that's for sure. Um, so they were trying to get to Theta, did they say? And they're having a really hard time getting the doors open. So, um, yeah, they were sealing the doors for a reason, that's for sure. So, yeah, all these boxes and such we can move around and look at. I can open the bin. <laughs> I can tidy up the trash. So, there you go, let's see. In the, in the bin, there we go. I'm pretty sure I'm not worried about tidying up around here, though. What is going on and where the heck am I? Is that where I am? Home is a state of mind. Huh, <laughs> yeah, great. What a great thing to put up in a place like this. Ooh, my dear good. Ooh. Okay. Tundra. Is this a fridge? These things are weird. Munch print. <laughs> Ah, it's food! I would like some curry mix. Munch print. Make me curry. 
No? Okay. So, like, printable foods and such going on. The place is a huge, huge mess. Nothing of real interest around, though. What's this? What's a comb? Alright, so nothing about in here. First aid? What to do for bleeding? For fractures? Make sure you are safe. Apply first aid where needed. Call dispatch and report the injury. Wait for responders to arrive. Okay. Uh, the toilet? I don't think we're going to find anything in the toilet. Except for a toilet. Okay, fair enough. Not even going to look. Oh, did that say... A humidifier? Hmm. Uh, Alright, so we've been across in there. We've checked out all of that place. We found that strange data thing, which I have no idea what the balls is about. Um, another pneumatic seal. Let's get you out of the way. Open up the door. Ooh! Freaking robots! What the? What is this? Like, what is all of this as well? And what is happening to my vision? The A95 Worker Version 3. Haimatsu. Okay. Is that what those dudes were that were... Ooh, look at you! Oh, look at your friend! What oh, weird static stuff is these guys that's causing it? Look at you, you're super messy. Holy! Um. Yeah, you got me, little git. You got me. What's with the static? Is it you that's messing up my vision? You've got legs, your body doesn't have legs. You do look a bit different. Oh, Jesus. Not liking it, not liking it. Um, yeah, and boxes of things. I feel like we can literally interact with everything, and it's going to be very distracting for us. But we have to kind of search to find out what the nuts is going on around here. Uh, can I crouch down? I can. Yeah, B makes me crouch. Um. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go down here, and you're not going to be here when I come back. And it's going to be super, super freaky, and it's going to be really bad times. Pathos 2. Is that where we are? Do you make me freak out? Oh no, you've got a... You've got a thing. what structure gel is, and I have no idea what that woman was talking about. Is that data that I've pulled from him? Can I do it again? Is it the same thing? Hey, you. Yeah, it is. Can it's the same thing. Can I? Okay, I can tap B and stop it. Alright, okay, interesting. Um, yeah, didn't like that noise. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I called it. I freaking knew it. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Do not like the sound of that. Ha 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 ha. Press and hold the right bumper. Then move the left stick. Uh, left stick. Ooh. 
Left to right to lean. Oh, okay. So if we're worried about peeking around a corner, we can kind of go up like this and, and have a little look. Okay, that's creepy too. That's super, super sketchy. Alright, so, um, that thing's on the loose and smashed open this door, which is great, I guess. Super great. Not really. It's more of that weird stuff. I have no idea what that is. Okay, hello, is anybody here? Where am I? What on earth is going on here? Why am I here? What is this? No idea. Duh! Crap, 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 While move, moving while crouching, press B is less noisy and reduces the chance of being noticed. Why, is there something around that's going to notice me? I don't like it. Let's creep for a little bit. There's that static again as well. No, 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 no. Let's get up so we're ready to run. I feel like running is going to be a thing. Okay, so we've got some super busted up wires. And more of this weird, gloopy stuff. Uh, door opens and closes automatically. Okay, well, obviously that's broken. Probably because of this mess. What is that? Oh, it's a bin. Oh, okay. Really, really dark. Really, really dark. Okay, there's a door there. And then that one's chained up too. What is this? Swipe Omnitool. Oh! And we're back! Okay, my, uh, my camera fell off of the TV and it absolutely scared the balls out of me, but we're back. And that thing is still around somewhere. That's definitely a thing. So we need we need that omni tool. That has to be a thing. We need this omni tool. It's not around here. Uh, that way was all closed. Okay, some gas. I thought I saw something moving over there. We got these super busted electrical wires. Ah! I'm assuming I ow oh, can't do anything with. Okay, no, we can't do anything with those. Definitely need to keep away from those. Super bad times. Uh, there's another. <laughs> there's the locked door that something was pounding on earlier, and I'm gonna have to go through there. Uh, that's the only way that I can kind of go now. Oh, the cameras look off. Okay. Get out of the way, you. Uh, okay. This one's just got static. Oh wait, no it's not. I thought that computer might have been turned on too. Alright, so through this door. Ooh, it is a mess in here. Oh, maintenance tunnels tell me I've not got to go climbing through the maintenance tunnels to get where I'm trying to go. What is all of that mess? All of it. Ooh, 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 Oh, Omni tool. Aha! Is this one? Omni tool V 2.5 Hayamatsu AI Helper Jane TM. Trademarked. Hint: Use the back button to view your inventory. Is that my inventory? The little white logo. Okay, fair enough. Some tools and stuff. Some tools and things. I'll do anything with that. It's got a lockbox, though. Uh, ah, here we go. Omnitool Smart Access Computer. 
Uh, let's open up this, make it easier for me to read it for you. Uh, the Omnitool is an advanced interface for accessing, managing, and controlling computerized systems. The onboard intelligence includes an open set of behaviors and protocols to enable the user to automate routine actions through basic logical charts. Sounds like one heck of a smart iPhone. Uh, over time, the Omnitool will automatically adapt its programs to cover subconscious behavior to optimize work and minimize user error. Whoa, that's a super freaking smart computer thing. Uh, the Omnitool has a short range signal useful for basic automated actions such as opening doors. While performing complex operations, the Omnitool must be physically connected to a workstation or terminal. To upgrade your device, simply slide operators into the main or the auxiliary slot. The main slot has a standard C1121 connector, which allows the user to fit most market Cortex chips into the Omnitool. Note that introducing additional AI will overwrite the onboard intelligence. The auxiliary slot has a multi-connector fitting and a range of tool chip models including, but not limited to, uh, A1, A2 and High TT. And Juicy. I want a Juicy one. It sounds nice. Loads of chips and things. So this is the thing that we needed to open that door, but I'm guessing we have to go back to that workstation first. Uh, as that was the first thing that we saw. Oh, it didn't... It took me to realize that that's a person. And part of him is missing. What is this stuff? Okay, that that's nasty. Don't like it. No likey. Uh, avoid the oil nastiness. That's also horrible. This door looks very much closed. Okay, super closed. Okay, so we found our we found the tool. Um, let's go back to that workstation. That sounds like the next logical step for us to do. Still no sign of that nasty thing, whatever the heck it was. Very, very dark. I hope I get a flashlight or something at some point. Okay. Okay, there was a light down there. Is that somebody? Hello? Hello, can you help? Is somebody walking around with a torch? I need a torch. I just said I needed a torch. Can I have yours? This place was chained, wasn't it? Uh, okay, it's open now. Alright, um, let's go in here. Let's go in here and close the door. Uh, you, although the window's open, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm sure nobody will think about that. Uh, okay, let's... Is that the logo for inserting something? Because it makes me slightly nervous. Okay, pop that in there. Pathos 2, reading. Service console up to 3, including pilot seat activated. Including pilot seat. Ah, okay. Ooh, can I go back? Is that it? Is the game over? Are we done? No, no. Mind your head, lean back. <laughs> okay. Uh, right, so what is this? Pilot seat number three, Upsilon. Uh, in progress. Lots of interesting codes and letters. Okay, fair enough. Oh, wait. Oh, we've got to press A to go back. Construct network. Upsilon is offline. Uh, pilot status. No pilot found. Sync pilot black box. No pilot, pilot found. Connection status is offline. Okay. Uh, reports. Here we go. Um... Report 01053, Carl Semkin. Uh, support Amy Arzuro, vehicle tugger, UH3. Task replace heat shields. Result was a success. Uh, Semkin reported uncharacteristic levels of nausea after the mission. Diagnostics show a spike of electromagnetism surrounding the pilot helmet, which is believed to be the cause of Semkin's symptoms. No indication what created this anomaly. So again, it is called a pilot seat. Is this used for controlling something? Uh, attention, the pilot system has become increasingly unreliable. Anyone who's been using it the last couple of months has been having headaches and spells of nausea. Last week, Gavin was knocked out for 30 hours when trying to direct a helper cluster. This is not acceptable. Uh, we will figure this out, but for the time being, I'm shutting down the usage of the pilot system. This means that you will have to do some more heavy lifting, uh, performing operations through programming or physical labor. No one is happy about this, so don't bother complaining. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um... Right, fair dues, I guess. Hmm. So 
Was that a pilot seat? We weren't in that. We had our brain scanned. Uh, system status. 2103-5-7. Is that the date? Obstacle number run setup. Remote access denied. Servers of line. Main power suspended. Initiate WOW setup. Program unreliable denied. Emergency systems have 13 days. 2103-05. Wasn't it? 2015 in our email that we sent to our dude at work. What the balls is going on? We time traveled. I'm, I'm assuming that that is a date. I'm assuming that is a date. Uh, three progress. Theta Cash Graphs Legacy Unfold Sub Simon Jarrett. That's us. Ort David Munchie. 2015 v1 is that that was the doctor Toronto what the balls is going on unfold subject Simon Jarrett author Damon is that authorization I'm assuming that sub is subject no idea Omnitool um, managed toolchip the Omnitool is perfect condition not fitted with the toolchip toolchip not inserted okay managed Cortex chip Currently being serviced by default onboard intelligence helper Jane. Note that installing Cortex chip will override the helper and may severely alter your user experience. We don't have one of those. Uh, unlock the toolbox. Ah! Level 3. Totally skipped level 2. Stick it in there. Tool chip found. Tool chip found. Okay. Uh, let's look at this one. Orientation. I know they told you that field technicians would get full access throughout Pesos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not going to happen. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to get in your way. We need you guys to keep this place up and running. But there needs to be at least some level of security on these things. I don't want to hear you barge into some quarantined area at Omicron and just knocked out the whole place with some virus. Whatever the hell they're doing over there. This is what you can do. You'll be able to use it to open doors. Basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong or someone didn't want you in there. Then what do you do? Tool chip required for access. You Cortex shove chip. That on the tool into a out. terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, sometimes you'll need to get into places where you don't belong. Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. What else? Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it, really. My name nice. is John Strohmeyer, Pathos 2 security operative. I got an office at Theta. Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. Good luck. Uh, I have issues, John. John, I, I, I have some s severe issues and I would like to talk to you about these. Um, that would be a good person for us to go and find. Also, best orientation video ever. Absolutely love it. Manage toolchip. Update. Aha, uh -huh, tools are updated. updated. Okay, so we now have a little level 3 tool chip thing. That's cool. So we can go back that way and open the door maybe? But um, this way has now been open for us, so I feel like I want to explore over here now a bit as well. Where the light went. Uh, of course, d it's a dead end there. Okay. Tell me it's not a complete dead end around here and it's just like we don't know where that thing went. So dark. <laughs> Part of me wants to know what it is. I saw the vent blow open, but I didn't see anything come past. That door's still closed. Can we fix this now we have the tool chip thing? Can I go inventory and then ah. you fix it? Okay, we can't fix it. We definitely cannot fix that. Ouch.
Oh, okay, no bueno, no bueno. Electrical cable's not good. Um, I know we've been hurt, but I can't see any form of health bar or something either. Oh, okay, let's see what's behind this door. Okay. No storage permitted. Oh, balls. Plot twist. We are definitely not in Toronto anymore. That much is entirely true. We are definitely not in Toronto anymore. Wow. Bioshock reference. <laughs> okay, well. That is about all my little heart can handle for the moment there, guys. I am really, really enjoying this playthrough. I really, really am. Um, let me know what you guys think of it in the comments below. Uh, if you've played it or if uh, you have any tips or suggestions or anything like that would be absolutely great. Uh, but I'm definitely going to go ahead and call it here. Uh, this seems like a good place to end it for the first episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. I really, really enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys have too. If you have, do me a huge, huge favor. Hit the like button for me. I would really like to make a full Let's Play out of this. Um, there is actually a lot of things I'm trying to play on the channel, but I've got to kind of thin it out a little bit because I just don't have time to make all of it. So hit the like button for me. Let, you know, let me know that you want to see more, and I'll really happily make some more of it. If you do like it and you want to see more and you're looking forward to it, hit the subscribe button as well so you won't miss out on any episodes coming to the channel in the next few days. Yeah, what a ride, what a ride. I know this is a great game and I can't wait to play some more of it. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. You guys take care, all the best, and I can't wait to see you all again soon. Bye-bye.